Hello, and welcome to Malice Place TV. I'm your host, Jason Malletman Taylor. Mallet Records supports Malice Place TV in keeping real music alive. I am honored to be the protege of the late, great jazz legend, Lionel Hampton. This show specializes in keeping real music alive. This show is also going to be cultural, educational, and a whole lot of fun. So if everybody in the audience and, and you people at home want to tighten up and relax and pull off your shoes and, and pull on up real close to the TV and, and take a look at this great opportunity, I'm sure you will definitely, definitely enjoy this show. So once again, you're watching Mallet's Place TV. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, was some of the footage from our first show, first Mallet's Place show, and I'd like to thank uh, Pat Brady and Nevin Cummings for making that one possible. I really enjoyed ourselves. Um, but moving right along, we have uh, well, Eric couldn't make it tonight for his own great reasons. It was positive because he's got a birthday coming up. We want to wish Eric Lipsy happy birthday. But we always love to have our special guest co-host. Mr. Bob Dunleavy. Hey, Bobby! Jason Malaman Taylor, thank you again for having me back. Well, how you doing there, man? I'm doing great. Yeah. As always, it's a pleasure to be here again. I'll have to thank uh, Eric for me for when you see him. <laughs> I love to borrow his seat every now and again. <laughs> well, what yeah. you been doing? What's, what's the latest? And, and for those of you not familiar with Bob Dunleavy, he's an excellent drummer. He's a, he's a great uh, inspiration to a lot of great musicians out there around the world, professionals out there. What you been doing, Bob? Tell me, what's going on? Real quick, real short, to the point, kick it to me. All right, well, we've got a few things going on. I've got a couple different projects from looking at. Um, we're going to, uh, with the rock opera that, uh, that I've been on your show before with uh, Mad Men and Dreamers. Mad Men and Dreamers, yeah. Uh, yeah, look, we're going to be heading out to uh, Australia in, uh, in July. Wow. And uh, we got a, we got a few things going on before and after. It's, uh, we're going to do uh, Mama Palooza in this city right uh, in June, right before we go to Australia. And what is Mama Palooza? And, um, um, it's uh, I don't have all the uh, details on it yet, but I know that it's um, it's a, an organization created by I believe an all female band, and, and she has uh, uh, she puts together a concert or a, a festival that uh, has to deal with. Uh, I guess at one point it was mostly women and all female artists, but uh, she's expanding and she's taken on more. Um, because of the message that uh, that they find in our project, Mad Men and Dreamers, it's the rock opera, the children of children. Okay. Uh, they see like they they notice that there's a father's point of view, right. and they wanted to combine. They wanted to make a combination of the father's point of view on family life with uh, with what they've been doing with Mama Falusa in the past. Okay. So it sounds like we'll be doing that in June. Um, Australia, July, and we've got a few things uh, waiting for us uh, or pending. A tentative in the city after we get back from Australia. Hey, well, this so. guy's busy here. Oh my goodness! So, right, so we're well. trying, we're trying, we're getting. Well, I'm out really there, great man. to have you on the show here, man. But you know, we got to get right down to because you know this show is like. Bang. Oh, I know. This ain't all about me. Oh, we got a special hey, guest hey, today. We got a real <laughs> special guest. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put your hands together for our very own from Staten Island. Staten Island, please put your hands together for my man, John Mosio. What's going on, man? How you doing? John, how you doing? Uh, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, man. So tell us, man. I mean, you know, you, you, I don't know where to start, but I mean, I do know that you're a very, very talented individual, man. Thank you. You know, um, uh, you play the accordion, I hear. Yes. Right? Yeah. How long have you been playing the accordion? Uh, ten years. Now. Ten years. Ten wow. years. And who influenced you to make you want to play the accordion? Well, my music teacher, Frank Busso, who teaches on Staten Island. Okay. Okay. And uh, you go to the high school. Uh, Was it? Uh, Monsignor Farrell. Monsignor Farrell. Monsignor Farrell Boys High School. Okay. Yes. All right. So they have a lot of different music programs there. Oh, uh, just one. Their marching band, concert band. Really. Okay, and uh, who's the music teacher there again? I'm sorry. Um, Larry Christensen. Larry Christensen? Yes. Okay, all right. And uh, he does, is, is the marching band a very large marching band? Or not really. No, is it building? Or do you get more students? We're joining? trying. We're trying. Really? You know, there's not too many kids that are into music, but uh, music's great and all kids should be into it. Okay. And what got you into the music thing, man? Funny story, actually. Uh, when I was in kindergarten, St. Clair's, uh, my music teacher, Frank Busso, uh, came in to play for the accordion for the kids. And when he came in with the box, I saw it. I had no idea what was in it. So he comes in with this box, takes this thing out. I have no idea what it is. He takes it out and starts playing, you know, good music. And I'm enjoying it. We're singing along. And from that moment, I said, I want to play that. It looks fun, looks interesting, and I like music. I o I've always liked music. And I brought a paper home to sign up for lessons. So I go to my mom, Ma, I want to play the accordion. So she goes, what's an accordion? She had no idea what it was. So she checks off piano, and I kept nagging and nagging and nagging until she finally um, ch ch checked off the accordion for me to play, and this is where I am today. Wow. That's hot, man. I wish I could play the accordion. <laughs> what, what's, what's, what's the one that you're, you're using tonight? What's, what's um, I'm using a Titano. I'm pre I think it's a Virtuoso, uh, but I'm not really too sure because I just switched, so. Oh, you just switched? How old is the one that you, that you have now? How old is, is, is it brand new? Or? Uh, it's used, but it's, it's a new used one. I had it for, I'm going to say, four months. Really? Five, six, seven months, maybe. Okay. Well, of course, I'm like, the, just like the viewers, I mean, let's not talk about the actual chord. Let's see you get down with it. What do you think, huh? <laughs> I think so. I'm ready to play. All right. Let's All right. get down. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for John Mosier, huh? As I understand it, though, you, you play a majority of different instruments. What are yeah. some of the other ones that you play? I, I play vibraphone, uh, xylophone, um, glockenspiel, I guess you can say that as bells. Um, I play piano, and I play drums, um, snare drum and set. Oh, great. Uh, is there something you want to do for us tonight on one of the other instruments? Uh, I sure. Guess, no. I guess, obviously, the snare drum is the one that's here. So. We're <laughs> yes. What are you going to do for us? I know it, I had, you're doing a feature that you had done with, uh, with, the, with the high school band that you rented. Uh, yes. Uh, what I'm going to be playing for you is a uh, drum solo that um, Monsignor Farrell High School's drum line won for first place nationally. So I'm going to play that drum solo. Okay, great. Go for it. Thanks. <laughs>
good. Very good. And this this is what they won, uh, was number one in the nation for that? Yes. Great. Jason, you want to bring him back before he does another song on the accordion? Yeah. You got some more questions for him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're hot, man. You're really hot. Wow. That's, uh, that's something, man. I'm sure a lot of the viewers out there are really, really going to you know, take hold of this opportunity. Uh, these actually, your, you sitting here tonight is very special to us, and I hope the viewers out there at Mallet's Place understand how important it is. We specialize in keeping real music alive, and, and you are making a difference. Thank you. And we want to commend you as Thank well. You. Come on, y'all. Give them a round of applause, huh? Come on. Uh, we also had the honor of speaking with your parents, and uh, we see that they are great, great, great supporters of yours. And, and we just want to let our viewers know at home, for those uh, uh, kids uh, and, and adults uh, uh, watching this show, that all things are possible, but you have to be able to make the first step. And this is one of the important things that we here at Mallet, uh, Mallet's Place TV want to bring to your attention. We're not asking you to be a rock star. We're not asking you to be a, a hip hop star. But we're just trying to say that as far as live music is concerned, we have a fabulous gentleman here really, really helping to make a difference for not just his future, but helping to make a difference towards a lot of kids out there that wish they could take these kind of steps and uh and really excellent man really thank excellent you what you're thank doing, you very definitely. much thanks for this opportunity uh, now i wanted to ask you you know about the uh ellen ellen uh degeneres show ellen degeneres show y'all audience out there know about ellen degeneres i know you do come on <laughs> this gentleman had the pleasure of being on her show and how was that man was it that? was uh, one of the best experiences in my life i had a lot of fun um she was great off camera and on camera it was a lot of fun to do the show and perform and uh, it was just a really fun trip to go to California and experience uh, what a life of a star would be like to go on interviews and shows. Mm -hmm. So it was really great. And how did, you, how did that come apart? How did they find you? Um, actually, a couple of years ago, I was featured in the Boston Globe um, as an accordion competition. I'd won first place. So they featured me in the Boston Globe. And I guess uh, someone from the show saw me. They called the association, needing an accordionist, my name. And they called me up and said, you know, you want to do the Ellen DeGeneres show? So I said, definitely. Uh, so that was how it started, and uh, I went out. Wow, that's really great. That's really great. That's a great accomplishment. Thank you. It's a great accomplishment. Um, so you got another song for us? Yes, I do. Because I mean, I know that audience is like, okay, Mallet, stop talking to the guy. Let the guy play. He's great. That one. Uh, next thing they're gonna know, they're gonna win. now. How can they get in touch with you if they want to? Should they just call us? I mean, is there a particular? I didn't ask. I'm sorry, I didn't ask. For some, it's not like you don't have like a website or anything. Like, but not if yet, they, I don't. Right, but if they want to, I, well, I guess what you know what? If you want to get in touch with this great guy, you just reach out to Malice Place. Uh, you can email us at www.maliceplace.com, and uh, we can reach out. We'll make sure that this gentleman gets your message because you know he's the future. He's a great inspiration, and he's really doing great things. And for those of you just walked in the room and just turned on the TV, you know, sit down for a minute, please, just sit down for a minute, because you're looking at John Mosio playing the accordion. Let's give him another round of applause, huh? Do your thing, buddy. What else you gonna play for? What's next thing you gonna do? Uh, it's another minor, minor, minor mood. Minor mood? Okay. The next song you're gonna play is called Minor Mood, correct? That's correct? Minor Mood. Yes. Okay.
guys can do better than that. Whee! What a pleasure, huh? What a pleasure, huh? Isn't that guy great? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is a first, ladies and gentlemen. This just, just, if you see me smiling so much, because this is a first. This is a first. Ever on Malice Place, you're the first one to ever break break this studio out. That's good for now. Yeah, I, yeah, this is definitely a first, and I'm definitely honored. I mean, and it was an education for me as well. What do you think, Bob? I'm, I'm educated. I, <laughs> I think I learned something today. <laughs> I learned a lot today, man. It, it's great. It's a, a big, big, what's it? I was gonna it's look. a great inspiration. I mean, it's I'm very inspired, very motivated to run out and buy one of those myself. <laughs> and all it is, you know, this is the first time I hesitate. You know, I hesitate on my own show, but this is really, really special here. So what, what plans do you have for the future for yourself? I mean, what kind of things would you like to do being such a, a, a phenomenal, phenomenal artist as yourself? Thank you. Um, what I want to do in the future, um, probably somewhere in the field of performing, definitely in the music field somewhere, but um, maybe mis uh, bu music uh, management, production, uh, somewhere maybe in record producing, digital music, um, composing, writing, Go to college, maybe major in music, open up a chain maybe of music stores. I don't know. They're all, all ideas are floating around in my head. So one of those things, definitely somewhere in the music field. Someone's going to make me a lot of money, famous maybe, you know, and uh, it's going to get me steady for life. So. Well, I think that's a great thing. I think, I think your parents are like, I got to catch up to him. You gotta, I got to catch up to him, right? <laughs> come on, give John, give John one more round of applause, would you? I mean, come on. We could do this all night. <laughs> Also want to take the time to thank uh, 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 Anthony Gallo and Linda Zoroff of uh, Robert DeFalco Realty and Don Juan of Lobster King on Forest Avenue near uh, Pathmark for those of you uh, in Staten Island, for those of you in California, uh, we're just thanking them anyway. <laughs> Uh, we also want to thank some other sponsors, and you will see through the course of the show that we do have some great support from Yamaha Corporation of America and Sabian Symbols, um, and what's that there? You can't forget Mike Bolton Mallets because there wouldn't be no mallet without the mic, <laughs> and uh, others that the credits will roll up. So I don't think it's you know I don't take too much time talking about the credits as you'll see them at the end. But uh, we are very honored to have John Mosio in the house uh, here at Malice Place TV, uh, your very own Staten Island's very own Staten Island, which I'm sure Staten Island, they're like, they're like saying, that's my boy, that's my boy, you know. It's just like, uh, I guess, what, what's going on uh, with the Super Bowl coming up there? Oh, you, you, don't, you don't have any parties you're playing at this Sunday? <laughs> uh, no, unfortunately, no. What's, what else is going on in the, in the future? You got anything uh, that matter, people can go see you? Anywhere they can come see you? Matter of fact, um, just today I found out I'm gonna, I was asked to do um, 250 with uh, wedding anniversaries, I believe, or Matt, whatever that is, 50th anniversaries. They've asked me to play at that, so uh, I guess that'll be coming up. It's two parties in the spring, so I'll be playing there, but nowhere like national television yet. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, you got another question. You said uh, before one of your best experiences of your life was... Uh, the, uh, Ellen and uh, the Night Jenner show. And I was wondering if um, any other experiences in your life, what do you think was maybe the most fun or most memorable other than that show? Um, probably shows like this. I've done uh, Toastmasters, and probably this show will be probably one of the memorable moments of my life to be on TV and uh, have this great experience. I just want to thank you for letting me be on your show. Yeah, well, I'm very honored as well. And, I, and also, I just want to take the time. Uh, this is my first time ever actually on the show also, and I want you guys to know that uh, I'm actually giving a signature set of my personal uh, Jason Mallet Man Taylor signature mallets to this phenomenal cat here. Uh, uh, John and John, these are for you. Oh, thank you very much. And it's uh, just... <laughs> And I, I never even really got, we never even really got to speak too much about the fact is that he does play xylophone and bells. Would you be able to come back on our show and uh, and we just uh, swing it away and and was that to swing with me on some vibes and xylophone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, for those of you not familiar with the xylophone and the bells, uh, I think you're starting to by watching the show. But it's great to have John to be able to be so versatile as he is as well. Now, how long have you been playing the xylophone? Uh, I think it's two years now. So I play for my Montini Farrell's High School marching band and uh, for their concert band, so I play whenever they play. So, I mean, Bob, I don't think we, you don't know, wait, this guy can be put any place just about. What do you think? Hey, anywhere. He's got a he's got a great future ahead of him. He's got, he's so versatile and so talented. I mean, he's, there's nothing stopping him now. 
What's up? And so all you agents out there and, and uh, so forth, if you're interested in, in picking up on this, this great guy and uh, take him to the next level, because we'll take him if you don't. So you better get it while you can. Uh, once again, feel free to contact us at www.maliceplace.com. And also I want to put in a plug because I guess most of you people that will be watching this show, this uh, Love, is, Love is Day is coming up. You, got, you know, Love is Day? Valentine's Day is coming up. So I want all you guys to keep in mind that, you know, um, for those of you who have someone, listen, give them a hug and take some time with them, you know. Uh, those of you that have time with, the, with your, you know, if you don't have anybody, hey, you got a mother, you got a father, spend some time with them, you know. If you weren't blessed to have a mom and, and pop in your life at the time, you know, there's a spirit that's right over you. You don't even know about it, you know. And the topping on the cake is music, keeping real music alive. Music is a universal language. And there's a lot of lovely music out there that you can buy and, and play. It is nice and soft. And it all falls right into the Lover's Day, Valentine's Day. So please keep in mind, Valentine's Day is a special time of year. Boy, you would think Hallmark <laughs> it actually put me down with that one. <laughs> so, uh, hey, I want to thank you so much. Would you be able to, I mean, I guess parents, it's all right, right? We got one. Would you be able to actually, like, take us out with, with the accord? Would you like to take us out with the accord then? Sure, that's okay. Yeah? I mean, because uh, what, what do you think about that, huh? Yeah? Want to take us out? Sure, no problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, John Mosio, huh? Give it up, give it up. Give it to us, man. Thank <laughs> you.